apologies. Uh, we, we are just going to interrupt Noor O'Day there because uh, we want to take you to Khan Yunus outside the hospital there. That's uh, We are listening to the Director General of the Gaza Strip Hospitals. Let's have a listen to what he has to say. And, uh, uh, a ...department and the gynecology department. The occupation has stormed the uh, hospital and targeted the hospital following the international silence and following the massacres committed by the occupation against the hospitals, particularly the massacre of the Baptist Hospital and the world stayed silent even after that. The international organizations and on top of which the Red Cross and the World Health Organization and the United Nations during these periods of siege didn't manage to do anything, they didn't manage to have a coordination. We asked them for coordination just to take the premature babies and the wounded babies, 36 premature babies and other pen, uh, patients. We not manage through the organization to uh, take them out of the hospital. And we uh, don't want forced relocation as has done in the Rantisi hospital where the occupation is spelled. Everyone, medical teams and patients and wounded, everyone was compulsory asked to force the hospital. Premier two babies and uh, other sick people on the ventilators were under total threat. I repeat again and again that a Shifa medical complex is the biggest medical institution in Gaza. 650 patients are there, 22 cases in intensive care units, 36 in uh, incubators, not less than 400 medical teams, not less than 200, 2,000 of displaced people, and all of them need medical care. All of them need to be uh, safely evacuated. We held the occupation responsible. We held the occupation fully responsible, guarding the lives of the patient the medical teams and the civilian displaced people inside a Shifa medical complex. And we asked for a safe evacuation via ambulances to the Arab Republic of Egypt to be treated in the Arab world and the Islamic world and to guarantee their safety and their security. We we urge fuel to be entered to the Ashifa complex and other hospitals. Fuel is running out and the services will be stopped completely in these places. And thank you very much indeed if you have any questions. Make sure to subscribe to a channel to the latest news from RDZ World News.